Right now in the United States, there are over 30 million Americans who have tried psychedelic drugs. Among these, magic mushrooms are one of the most popular choices. Today, we're going to get the rundown on harm reduction for mushrooms from Dr. Dina Perone. Dr. Perone, what is harm reduction? Harm reduction is a set of strategies and principles that seek to reduce the consequences associated with substance use. What do we need to know about shrooms? So there are 200 species that are psychedelic. It's really important to know the kind of mushroom that you're using. You can tell the different kind of shroom depending on the cap and the stem. They both contain psilocybin, which is a tryptamine that actually gets you high. The size also doesn't tell you how potent it'll be because some can be very big, but not as dense. So what matters is how much they weigh. So today we have several types of shrooms. This is Psilocybe cubensis. It is primarily grown in South and Central America. It is actually the most common of our psychedelic mushrooms. You can find it in cattle pastures. The cap is roughly between two and eight centimeters, and it's either a conic or a convex shape. This is Psilocybe samuiensis, and this comes from Thailand, often grown in the rice paddies. This mushroom's cap is typically between seven and 15 millimeters in diameter. This one is Psilocybe semilanciata, also known as the Liberty cap, usually found in Canada, North America, and the UK. It has a cap size roughly between five to 25 millimeters. This shroom is the most common one found in nature, and is also considered the most potent. Some shrooms, like this one, are really difficult to identify. That's why it's important to do your research on the cap and the stem of the shroom before you take it. Keep in mind that psychedelic mushrooms are illegal, and there are consequences associated with their use. So you should really learn the strategies to reduce any harms. Visit websites like dancehafe.org or the Zendo Project and maps.org. I kind of feel like we're about to make a softcore porn right now, but I'm sitting here with Steve, Renee, and Janira, and they're going to show me all of the tricks of foot worship. She's got pretty feet. Doesn't she have beautiful feet? She really does. Yes, you always want to make sure that your toes are, are moving. It's the foreplay. God, gross. Jeez. <laughs> 